everybody, this is Mino4657, and my Wii Remote turned off. I left it idle for too long. Anyway, I'm gonna play some more Super Mario 64! We're almost 100% done with the basement. I do believe, anyway. It's me, Mario! Hello! Alright, so let's get back to it. We got 72 stars. We're past halfway done now, so... I don't know how much longer this selfie is going to take. Here, I'm going to take a shortcut. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. I don't care. I'll refill my life in here because there's water. Here, I'll show you the, I'll show you a passageway through this area that you can take. See, up here there will be a split path. One is a wooden door and the other one is a staircase. You take the staircase and this leads you to a one-way passage. There is a way to get back up here, but it's difficult. You just slide down here and you're at this place. There are two more stars we need to get in Dire Dire Dock, so we'll go ahead that we'll head there now. Yep, two more. Don't need that. Okay, this one is called the Manta Rays Reward. And just like the hint suggests, yeah, I'm gonna refill my life here. Okay. Just like the name suggests, it involves the Manta Ray. And if you'll notice, um where is he? There he is. You see you see these rings. He leaves behind these rings. And like through the jet stream, you swim through them. If you can do it, like you know, like a smart person. What? Okay. This camera is a piece of shit. I swear. Spear. Damn it. Okay, there we go. Get through five, and the star appears right above the whirlpool, too. I mean, like, gee, what a big middle finger. Zoom out here. What, you can't zoom out in the water? Here we go! Okay, so that wasn't too hard. Now, the last one is actually the easiest star to get in the whole course. Except maybe the first one. This is probably this is probably in the top two for easy starts to get in Dire Dire Docks. Which one was it? Collect the caps, that was it. Okay. Yeah, I mean duh, that's the last star. Okay. Now, it's kind of vague of what it could mean. Collect the caps. What could that mean? Well it actually implies that you're supposed to get more than one special cap. If in this course there are two caps you can get, a metal cap and a vanish cap. And it applies that you need both of them to get the star. However, this is not true. You only need the vanish cap to get the star. You do not need the metal cap at all. In the DS version, this um, the name of the star was later changed to Luigi in the Cage because Nintendo realized that it didn't require the metal cap at all. Because in the DS version, Luigi can turn invisible by getting the Power Flower, so this is how you do it. You grab the Vanish Cap, swim all the way down there. You see that cage? That's where the star is. You can get here with just the Vanish Cap, just as long as you swim fast enough. You can do it with the Metal Cap, but it's just faster with that. So that's the way everyone else does it, and that's the way I do it. There you go. Let me double check here. Yep, 100% so far. 11 Castle Secret Stars. I have heard that there are 30 of them instead of 24, what I originally thought. Someone commented on that, and I'm, I don't know if I really need to say who it is. It's not really all that important. But, I don't know, maybe it is. I'm not really sure. I don't really do stuff like that. Maybe I will someday. Anyway, that key that we got from Bowser in the, in the fire fireplace, whatever, leads upstairs, and you go through the spiral stairs. And I'll show you a gl I'll show you the glitch later. So I don't remember what order these courses go in. I do believe Wet Dry World is course 11, and Tall Tall Mountain is course 10. I'm not entirely sure, but anyway, the first thing we need to do is talk to this toad. Thanks to the power of the stars, life is returning to the castle. Please, Mario, you have to give Bowser the boot. Here, let me tell you a little something about the castle. In a room with the mirrors, look carefully for anything with the mirror, blah, blah, blah. Okay, I know that. And he gives you a power star! 
75. No, not right now. Okay, so there are two doors and two paintings that lead to courses. There are four courses on this floor right here. This one went dry world. Um, that one leads to snowman's land, I believe. This one's tall, tall mountain. And that one leads to... No, wait, that one's snowman's land. Is that one a tiny, huge island? I can't remember. Frick. Let's just go to tall, tall mountain first. This one's full. That painting is so small, and it's kind of hard to jump in. Course 12. Oh, I guess I was wrong. Ah, who cares? I'm, I, I don't need to do all the courses in order anyway. Hey, look, I see a star from here. But that's not the one we need to get right now. Make sure to launch up over these places. There's some big coins there. There are four... Actually, no, wait, three of them over there, I think. Again, I'm not sure. I never really counted. So, the, um, the concept for this course is actually very linear. You can go around the mountain, and you'll eventually reach the top if you keep going around in a circle. Make sure to dodge this fly guy. He can, he's a real bitch. And that monkey, if you... There's really no point to that monkey whatsoever. Because if you grab him, he'll actually steal your hat. You need to grab him again to get your hat back. And that sucks. Here's a little shortcut that everyone takes. It's a little dangerous though because you got iron balls coming at you. I've got balls of steel. Out of the way, Goombas. Get ready to launch jump. There's a one of mushroom there, but I don't need it. Okay, we're almost at the top now. This grass, I do not understand that that grass right there. It's like it looks like vines or something, but it makes you run a little slower and you can't really jump. It's like the sand and shifting sand land. So there's the first star! That wasn't too bad now, wasn't it? Here we go! I do believe course 10 is actually Wet and Dry World. I thought it was Tall Tom Mountain, but it's not. It's probably Wet and Dry World since you come out of the staircase and you're looking straight at the painting. Like, um... Like here. So I think it goes in order. This is course 10, Snowman's Land is course 11, Tall Tom Mountain is course 12, and... Tiny Huge Island is course 13. And then there's 14 and 15, and then that's it. Mystery of the Monkey Cage. That's pretty interesting, right? Time to take a shortcut. Head to the back of the mountain, you'll get rewarded with one up, but jump off, off the edge, and then wind! This will lead you up here. Watch out for this purple guy. He kind of reminds me of Bomberman. Like, doesn't he kind of look like Bomberman to you in a way? Maybe it's that red thing on his hat. I mean, on his head, not his hat. He's not wearing a hat. So, Mystery of the Monkey Cage. This one's kind of annoying, but don't grab that monkey again. Did I just hit an invisible wall? That was strange. I did not know that invisible wall was there. Did I just lose internet? I did just lose internet. It's a good thing that my recording doesn't require internet. Don't worry, it's coming back. Da -na -na -na. Na -na 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 -na. Like, occasionally, sometimes my internet will just, like, crap out, and then it won't come back for a little while. I have no idea why it does this, but it just does this. You can probably actually get to that star from here if you launch up, but I wouldn't recommend it. There's really only one way to get there. Well, only there's only supposed to be one way you can get there. If you try jumping, I would consider yourself crazy. That Goomba just peered out of midair. That's, this place is full of so many glitches, it's ridiculous. Alright, you're probably wondering where we're heading, right? Well, we're actually going all the way back to the top of the mountain, because that's where the monkey is. In this star, the, this star is in a cage next to the waterfall. It's right there. That's called the monkey cage, I believe, anyway. But we need to catch the monkey, so the monkey can... I'm saying monkey a lot, it sounds weird. Uh, damn it. You need to catch this monkey, and he'll get the star for you. Just go down. Come on. That was so gay. Get over here. You gotta get him, like, after he jumps. Like, after he jumps, then you gotta grab him. Ew, let me go. Ooh, ooh, kiki. I was only teasing. Can you take a joke? Yes, but I don't feel like it. I'll tell you the truth. Let's trade. If you let me go, I'll give you something really good. Yeah, you can hold on to him if you want, but there's really no point. So you free him, and then he'll walk. Walk some more. Alright, f*** this. I'm just gonna go there. Mm. 
I don't know how he opens this, or I have no idea what's keeping Mario from opening it. But for some reason, only the monkey can. You jump down here, and I said jump down here, and there you go. Here we go! Here we go! Okay, that wasn't too hard. Just time consuming is all. This place is all about maneuvering. You just gotta know where you're going, what you need to do to get there. Alright, Scary Shroom's red coins. So I'm gonna grab this one up because I feel like it, because I don't feel like I'm gonna die at the start. It's not hard, it's just nerve wracking sometimes. There's a reason why they call it Scary Shrooms. But thankfully, there's only three red coins where the shrooms are, and the rest of them are in some sort of maze like thing. So I'm gonna see if I can get 100 coins on this star. I'm not entirely sure if I can, but I'm gonna try. Ugh. I'm gonna see if I can wall jump up this. Awesome. One. Oh, I guess there's four here. Excuse me, princess. Grab the coin, Mario. Thank you. So there's 24. One fourth away there, pretty much. Jump for the Monty Moles. So here's the maze where the other four coins are. The hell? Come on, Mario. Stop jacking her off. Stop jacking her off. I didn't mean to say jacking off. He's not really doing that. What the hell? Let's look at my jumps. Okay, there we go. Hey. You can kill as many monster moles as you want. They will not stop coming. And wow, really? Mamma mia! <sighs> you know what? I think I'll get to that later. I'm gonna go on a wet dry world. When I first played this game, this was probably my first one. No, this is probably my favorite one. This is course 11. Where's course 10? Well, okay, what was this one? Shocking arrow lifts. Um, there it is. I think we need to hit this one over here. Alright, this course's gimmick, it's pretty small, but the thing is, it takes a lot of puzzle solving. You see, these little switches here, they control the water level. I mean, each star starts on a different water level. Actually, technically, there's only like five different water levels, so I guess not. They, they don't all those are different ones. But you just need to figure out which water level you need to get to where you need to go. Again, it's just all about knowing where to go. It's one of this is one of those courses where if you're a beginner at the game, you're gonna suck at it. This is the first star right here. I didn't really explain much about it because there's really nothing to say. It's a really easy star to get. And they put that box there just to make sure that you don't get it at the wrong water level. It needs to be at the correct one. Top O the town. Okay, this requires a somewhat high water level. But for some reason they started as low. Actually, I don't think you need it to be high. You can walk up this thing. I forgot about that. Okay, now, here's one of my favorite things to do in this course. Uh, you actually use these things as platforms for the jumps. Like as, the as like the measure of Sometimes that happens, and that really ticks me off. So I need to do it like this. Okay, there we go. Mario, what are you doing? Stop jumping around like a friggin' idiot. Hey, bomber man, what's up? Did that really just happen? Evo, watch it. I'm watching you, man. Yeah, those things are called Evo's, and they they can't really hurt you directly. If you step on them, they'll just fling you up high and, and behind, and the only way you can get hurt by that is if you just get hurt from the fall, and I can't get up there for some reason. Mari, would you stop having a freaking seizure and work with me here? Okay, there we go. Okay, bomber man, don't bo bother me. It happened again! My god, I'm on a suckus streak right now. Ah, if only I had blood. 